Hi guys, I showed you I bought this little wire controlled uh, car we'll call it, fire engine I think, in the charity shop the other day for a pound and it almost works. I reckon it should go forwards and backwards when we press these buttons. It goes forwards alright, if it doesn't go backwards. So I'm guessing we'll need to have a look in here and see why it doesn't work. We've got two wires, yes, just two wires going up in the yellow lead to the car. Then looking at what we have here, or better still looking at what we have here, this is the battery box. This is the positive end of the battery. It's a negative, wired across to the positive, and that will be the negative of the other battery. So we've got three volts across these two points. Just move that out of the way for now so we can see what we're doing. So the positive there, the red wire, is soldered to that metal plate just there. And the negative is this metal plate here. And I think when we have the lid on, those contacts or springs there will normally be making contact with this metal plate. That would make sense. And then when you push one of the buttons in, that moves the spring, so instead of touching the bottom plate, it touches the top plate. Probably the easiest thing is if I use a crocodile clip on a lead. If I connect onto the yellow one first, so we'll assume that that spring is pushed down. When you push this one up, that means that one is going to make contact with here. And there we go. Car's going forwards. Do that again. Okay, car's going forwards, we're losing that spring. If we connect that to the other one, and I'll hold that one down, trying not to get my fingers in the way, so that's there. So now we're pressing the blue button in effect, so it touches up here. And car's not going backwards, I thought it might go backwards. But it is making the bell ring. Now the only way of finding out whether it's supposed to go backwards will be to take the car apart. But I think all we've got here is just maybe these springs... ...are not making contact. Might just need a bit of bending. Well, I'm going to edit the video a bit there, because getting those spring tensions right took quite a bit of work. When I put it back together the first time, it didn't work at all. But now, we're working. What I'll look at now is just how this works. See what it is that means the yellow button makes it go forwards and the blue button makes it ring the bell.